Hi all, it's Jennifer. I'm here to do your daily vibes for Saturday, June 23rd. I've decided to highlight my pointer finger, <laughs> even though it's not your traditional pointer finger. I don't do anything traditionally, just so you know. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments about me pointing with my middle finger. That's what I do. I'm not going to change it. I point with my I point with my middle finger. It's just the way it is. Okay? I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. It's who I am. It's 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 just one of my things, okay? It's one of the things that I do. I usually point with this one. You'll see me pointing with this one. Just so you know, that's that's just what I do. And there's no disrespect meant. It's just a habit of mine. I don't know where it came from. It is what it is. This is a daily energy for all signs. What do we have for Saturday, June 23rd? What do I need to say? Um, first of all, this may not be happening today. This could this energy that I'm about to read for you is is basically timeless, okay? It's whenever it's meant for you, okay? Could be today, could be yesterday, could be last week, could be next week, could be next month, okay? This is something that I'm picking up on today for somebody, and it may not even be for you, okay? Because this is, an, this is a reading for whoever it's meant to resonate with, okay? These fell out, we're gonna go with them. The devil. Capricorn. The king of pentacles reversed. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. The two of pentacles. The temperance card reversed. The Seven of Cups reversed. The Knight of Pentacles. A lot of Earth energy here. The Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have a Scorpio up here. We have a Sagittarius here. The Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. Definitely a lot of earth energy. The hangman, which I believe represents Pisces, um, being stuck, being stuck in limbo, unable to make a decision. The master of non-attachment. Somebody is afraid of attachment here. And the world card. Beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups, happiness. Relationship happiness. I'm just going to get this zoomed in. The Queen of Pentacles here. <laughs> Trying to get it... Uh, just right, but whatever. Um, okay, so today I am picking up that somebody has been juggling. Somebody has been juggling whether to do something or not, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, what am I going to do? Trying to make a decision. Okay, somebody's trying to make a decision, you know, trying to to find their backbone because the page of pentacles is is about backbone, it's about integrity, it's about doing the right thing. Somebody has been going back and forth as to what the right thing is. What is the right thing to do here? Okay? And there's been some sort of extremes here, extreme back and forth, okay? Because the temperance reverse is extremes. So it's like one minute I, I want to do something and the next minute I don't. So I feel as though somebody has been in limbo, they've been stuck. They have, they've been stuck in regards to, 
you know, do I want this? Do I, do I, or, or don't I? I mean, that's what the energy is today is trying to figure out what do I want? What do I want? I kind of want this, but I kind of don't. So it's, it's a, it's a kind of, I kind of don't know what the hell I want kind of day. I kind of don't know. I just, I, I, I don't, I don't. And it feels as though you need to make a clear decision. And I mean, this is, this just reiterates it as well. The seven of cups reversed. It is time to make that clear decision and stop living in this confusion. Somebody has to set a clear intention and, and stick with it. It is time. It's time to make that decision. The seven of cups re reversed is about becoming clear of the choice that you want. Stop juggling. Stop going to extremes. Stop bringing this imbalance to your life by going back and forth. Make the decision. So perhaps today is the day where you finally do make the decision to figure out what's going to bring you success, what's going to make you happy, what's going to what's going to be allow you to start this next chapter in your life. It's time to make that decision as to where you want to go. Okay, ego. <laughs> The devil is the very first card, which is, it's ego. The devil is ruled by ego, okay? Ego is a big factor here. You know, is is the is your decision based on your ego or is your decision based on your heart, okay? The shadow side, I mean, that is the ego. Um, it's time to look at things from a new perspective, as the Queen of Swords would do. Be open, be objective, look at this from another perspective. Try to be open. This is a test. You are being tested here. Um, are you making the right choice? There will be consequences to your choice, okay? Because this is a card of consequences. You will have to live with the consequences of, of the decisions that you make if you're choosing it on ego or if you're choosing it based on love because this card also symbolizes ego or love as well because there's possessions versus love here so what's it going to be i mean what is it going to be is it and, and not only possessions it's it's things you know what i mean or or that shadow side are you this decision that you have to make there is a choice a decision that needs to be made okay there is you need to you really need to figure out what what side of you you're feeding what side is being fed here Somebody has been acting out of ego, okay? They have. There's, there's absolutely no doubt about it. And it feels like this is a test in, of your strength. It's a test of who you are. It's a test of your character as well. Um, it's a test. It is a test of your character. There's absolutely no doubt about it. So I feel as though somebody has been hanging around, going through a period of enlightenment, struggling to um, make a decision, whether they whether they want to they want this or they want that what what the hell what the, I don't know what I want so I've been just sticking staying in this this spot of limbo trying to figure it out but while you've been sitting in this this space this this empty space of limbo because it's been it's been pretty empty and lonely there you know while you've been sitting there um Things have been a little unharmonious. They have been a little unbalanced in your life because, you know, you aren't make, you aren't taking steps. You're just hanging there. You're not really doing anything about it. Even though you're becoming enlightened, you still aren't really taking uh, physical action. Okay, you're just you're just sacrificing time. You're sacrificing yourself. You're sacrificing the outcome. Seriously, so it feels as though somebody is probably on the verge of finding their backbone to take charge, okay, to head forward and offer somebody stability, okay, because she's offering stability, she's offering security. So, you know, it goes from two pentacles here to one pentacle, I've made a choice, so it feels like somebody is about to, and this is making a choice, somebody is about to stop playing this, this, um, uh, back and forth game and, and make the choice as to, you know, what is going to make them happy, what's going to make them feel successful and that and what they want on their, in their, in their next chapter of their life. So I feel like there is a, there's a, there's a, there's a major lesson that has been learned here. There is because the world card is a lesson. 
Okay, and it could have been a karmic lesson because the devil is karma and then we have the lesson here. So it definitely could have been a karmic lesson, okay, that somebody has learned, okay, and, and now they are... Um, they're starting a new phase. They've learned the lesson, and now it's time for a new beginning because the world card is an ending that leads to a new beginning. So there's a new beginning on the horizon after you make this choice, okay? You do have, this is when you make the choice, okay? The Seven of Cups reversed is the choice has been made. You stop juggling. You stop playing the game. You find your power to act with integrity. Stop hanging around. Make the choice and have the new beginning, okay? So, I don't know who this is for, but I feel like somebody has been really stubborn and hard-headed, really, really stubborn, and now perhaps they're deciding to be more objective and look at things from a new perspective because they've been stuck for so long. You can only hang before so long, for so long. You can only hang for so long before you get sick of it, before you, you can't take it anymore. I just can't take it anymore. I, I, I can't. So I think that somebody is about to uh, take an approach finally after, after being stubborn for a really, really long time. But they were working on their, their ego, their shadow side. So, I mean, that's something that needs to be worked out. It does. So they may have been masking their feelings with addictions during this time of of enlightenment somebody has been going through some sort of enlightenment they may have been masking their their truth with with addictions to get through this this phase okay just saying i have to tell you what i see i feel as though somebody has probably been making some plans behind the scenes during their their period of enlightenment they've been making plans but taking taking their sweet little time with following through on those plans, just really not really moving very fast. But they're solid plans. They're coming up with the right plan, you know what I mean? It's not some kind of um, fly by the seat of your pants kind of thing. You know, this is a, I'm, I've come up with a nice, solid, um, practical plan for my future during this period of enlightenment. But now it's time to take action and make that offer. So somebody may be deciding, you know what, it's time for me to do the right thing. This can also signify an apology. Okay, I'm going to, this could, so somebody could be deciding, you know, I'm going to stop playing this game and, and I'm going to offer an apology. This will not be for every single person. Just keep that in mind. You know, somebody has absolutely became aware, you know, through through sacrifice you know somebody had been resisting change for quite some time but now they can't they they they've they, they've come to the realization that they can't resist it it's time it's time to look at something from a new perspective i really don't have any choice anymore because my life is is un, is unharmonious it's it's unbalanced there's no happiness here and in order for me to find happiness i'm going to have to have this new beginning i'm going to have to um complete this cycle i'm gonna have to complete this cycle of enlightenment and take steps i'm gonna have to take those steps forward it's time it's time for me to take those steps towards my new chapter so i feel like today is a day of making the decision to move forward you know um, and take charge take charge of what you really want in your life to speak up I feel like after a period of stubbornness somebody is about to speak up okay and it could lead to happiness Okay, somebody has probably decided that, you know, I want this happiness. I want this happily ever after. But they went through a period of non-attachment. They thought they didn't want it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's what this is. The hangman is somebody that's been stalling, hanging around. The hangman is the master of, na of non-attachment. You know, this is somebody who's been resisting change, refuses to see things from a new perspective. They have to go through that that time of limbo they have to go through that that time alone 
to become aware of a new outlook. They have to. They have to. So, and that's, this is represented by the sign of Pisces. So I feel like, you know, somebody has tr tried to escape reality, okay? But now they, but it has brought so much discomfort to their life that now they, they're forced or they, and I hate to use the word forced, they have decided to see things through a different light. They've, they've been enlightened. They have been enlightened. They've, they're seeing the truth now, okay? Anyway, it does lead to happiness. This is the Ten of Cups. It leads to bliss. It leads to perhaps a relationship, something that is solid, a solid, committed relationship. So I feel like today is a day of somebody stepping out of their shadow side, stepping out of their ego self. Stop being stubborn. Stop playing games. Stop riding the roller coaster and do the right thing to bring harmony and balance back to your life so that you can have this new beginning. This is a this is a completion, a major completion that leads to a beautiful new new phase, new chapter in your life. Lesson has been learned. Okay, this this period of enlightenment that was a lesson karmic lesson so it was a life lesson a life lesson was was learned so this is what i have for today i'm not sure if i should get an oracle card what do you think yeah i think i'll get an angel romance card we'll see what happens Now, this can resonate with any sign, any signs here, okay? Just keep that in mind. Ooh, good one. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Somebody's going to speak up. I see that. It's time. It's time to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It's time to find your backbone. It's time to act with integrity, even if it isn't fun. Because the Page of Pentacles is somebody who finds the backbone to do what they have to do, even if it isn't fun. And I'm going to show you what's on the bottom of the deck. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I think we'll get one more. We're going to get you one of these just for the heck of it. Ooh, that is what this is. This is what the hangman is. It is acceptance. Interesting. That's beautiful. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. You can't change how you feel. Anyway, that is what I have. Talk to you later.